excellent. Alright, so this is going to be for the uh, upload for anyone not watching as well. So, let's give a good quick update of what's going on and what to expect and what most people missed because of the, uh, the, the louder voice got all the attention. <laughs> Alright, so today is a beautiful day for science. Currently we're looking at the dynamic duo, region 3664 and 3668, rotating off the western rim. They uh, gave us quite a show, including a, a G5 uh, severe geomagnetic storm. Out of, I think there were nine solar storms launched within a two to three day period. The uh, event comes as a tell end, almost like a farewell from this dynamic duo, saying that uh, it will be on the backside. And this event actually is about one degree occulted, meaning we didn't see the surface of the sun where the most intense portion of this event occurred. What this means is the event was actually slightly larger than what it registered because the most intense point is always closer to the surface or at the surface of the sun. But what was registered was the X 8.79 as we can see here. Now there is an IMC, ICME rather that's associated and we're going to take a quick look at that. And so, we shall. Where are you? There you are. All right, and this is stereo ahead. As you can see, the radiation storm's still impacting it on that view there. But we're looking at the differential at first because it's kind of hard to see the full encompassing uh, width of this storm simply from the stereo ahead's regular view here. But as we can see here, there's the first frame. Here is the next frame. And you can see it's very western. This does not look as it will be impacting Earth, which is a good time for us to recover because we have something else coming our way. And there's the other one. And so it goes on like that. And as you can see, this is very westward. Earth is not projected to be impacted by this storm. If we are, it's going to be a glancing impact and won't be that, that much at all. And there it is. Now, what you see on the other end, <laughs> on the, uh, the eastern rim, which is actually not fully on the rim anymore, this is actually facing in full view of Earth, as it were, just not enough that I don't this event here that it just launched I don't believe will be impacting us so we're gonna roll it back here and we're gonna take a quick look at what's happening over here and there we go so we have an eruption that has occurred on the eastern rim and this right here is, is quite a significant event as well. And we're going to take a closer look at that on the high resolution SDO imagery here in a moment. But first, let's take another quick look at our X class, largest of this cycle. And what I want to point out again is this is <clears throat> ever so slightly occulted. What that means is it has rotated where it's not fully in view. To occult something is to cover it up or to obscure it. And so this, the surface of where this event's coming from is about one degree occulted, meaning once again, we did not get the full force of that event, which is also probably why the ICME is not uh, spread far enough that we have a larger uh, uh, path of impact, if at all, any. So that's the X uh, 8.79 coming from the dynamic duo that's heading off to the edge. But now we have a newcomer who has provided to us a beautiful storm, a little bit of an escalation of its own, and has been launching some solar storms while uh, it was on the backside of the sun and rotating in. We get to look at that a little more clearly, and it is quite a large active area. And uh, we can see this ICME that was launched is 
uh, quite a beautiful and significant event as well. Granted, it was not as beautiful as the flare when you get that pinnacle extreme large frequency being shouted out from that flare. But the ICME is, is quite extensive, quite a beautiful event. So the dynamic duo heads away, and a whole new, uh, whole new view of enjoyment is on its way to, to say hello. <laughs> all right, so just to summarize it all, we had an X 8.79 from the dynamic duo region 3664, 3668, which is now headed over to the western rim, no longer in view of the Earth, and uh, gave us a nice farewell. And we have an ICME with a slight escalation of flare, not as large as the X8, <laughs> uh, that has come from a new region now visible on the eastern rim. Neither one is projected currently to uh, impact Earth at all. The flares, of course, impact line of sight. The moment you see it, it you're being impacted, travels about eight, point, uh, 8 minutes and 20 seconds to make it to Earth. That's about the time it takes light to travel from the sun to the Earth. But the uh, CMEs take typically two days to four days uh, to traverse the uh, 93 million mile journey. And uh, so neither one of these look like they're sending a solar storm that will impact us. And if they do, either one, it will be just a glancing blow at best. But as such, we see our proton flux also st still diminishing, and that is due to the event that happened earlier. We've had two other X-classes that occurred from uh, our dynamic duo before they were occulted that uh, they launched ICMEs as well. So we do have a couple of ICMEs where we're not on a head-on trajectory, but was enough that we were impacted by the proton event, and we do have a smaller ICME in comparison headed towards us from those events as well so we'll probably see g1 maybe at most i would imagine like a g2 event uh but for the most part i think we have seen what it can do for us at this time but in about two weeks more time it will be coming back around and we'll see the dynamic duo and how they've uh, managed to equate each other <laughs> so that's the that's about it i hope everyone's having a wonderful day and uh, cheers and science on <laughs>